In this video, we'll formally introduce the concept of a differential equation, uh, which has been briefly talked about in previous videos. The idea behind differential equations is that there exist many systems or phenomena that we're interested in science or engineering that can be described in terms of a quantity y, which this depends on another quantity x, and its rates of change. In other words, it's derivatives, which we'll denote by y prime, y double prime, etc., where the number of primes denotes the order of the derivative. We're going to limit ourselves to a special class of uh, these types of equations that have derivatives in them known as differential equations. We're going to focus on linear ordinary differential equations. So the term ordinary here uh, corresponds to the fact that we're dealing with functions of a single variable and uh, only ordinary derivatives in contrast to functions that can depend on several variables in which case we would have partial derivatives and then you would have a partial differential equation. The linear part means that we're, we're only going to look at equations that have the following general form. So you have some coefficient that can depend on x times your quantity of interest plus another coefficient that may depend on x times the derivative of your quantity of interest, your first derivative. Another coefficient plus the second derivative and so on in general until let's say the uh, nth derivative of your quantity of interest. And the thing that makes this a linear differential equation is the fact that each term which has your uh, function of interest only has, uh, is only linear in those terms. So there's no uh, y squares or y prime squares or any other nonlinear function of y in this equation. And as shorthand, we're going to denote these as linear ODEs. And under very general conditions, linear ODEs have a, a unique solution. You're, they're guaranteed to have a unique solution given a set of initial values or uh, boundary values. So they're guaranteed to have a unique solution for a given set of uh, we'll call them initial conditions, I C and or boundary conditions, B C. And this is why we're limiting ourselves to this type of study because you already know before you start to solve the problem that you can find the solution to this problem. And the solution you find is the only possible solution for a given set of initial conditions and boundary conditions. And we'll uh, make this idea of initial conditions and boundary conditions more concrete in the following videos. So a simple example that you've per perhaps seen is Newton's second law of motion, which in terms of the velocity, tells you m times acceleration, which is 
the time derivative of velocity is equal to a force which depends, which can depend on x, on the position, on the speed, or on time in general. And this uh, has a unique, a unique solution for an initial condition. So if you're given the value of the speed at the beginning of time in your problem, which we can say V naught, and F only has linear terms in X and V, then you're guaranteed to have a unique solution. You can also express Newton's second law of motion as the second derivative with respect to time of the position. You can again have a force which this depends on these quantities. And this is also guaranteed to have a unique solution provided F only has linear terms in X and V for an initial value of X, which we'll call X naught and an initial value for the velocity or the derivative of X with respect to T. So at the time, at the beginning of time, which we'll call V naught. So building off of this in the following videos, we're going to go through different types of ordinary differential equations that come up in practice and methods for solving these. We'll begin with the simplest case, which is a uh, first order ordinary differential equations that are separable. 